Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsty, and welcome to another day with Minecraft in Minecraft without mining. Uh, that's the right way around. Uh, as you can see uh, up there in the right hand corner, finally managed to get that uh, hero of the village. Uh, as you can see from my levels, I also spent a bit of time in the raid farm. So that's working perfectly. But today uh, we have to make more progress. And. Uh, First thing I think over there somewhere I want to have a, a smelter array uh, and then uh, further down the line we have to deal with the uh, slime farm there in the background and then there is more wood farms further down the line but one thing after another First, I have to find a bit of TNT in all my chests uh, because we have to blow up stuff. <coughs> now, one of the question is how do we fuel the furnaces? I have done in the past various things, uh, but as we cannot mine, our options are a bit restricted and as you might gather from the surroundings, we will go with end rods. Back there, behind the uh, cobble, uh, there is a spawner, uh, which we will have to uh, explode out without destroying the spawner um, and without burning up from the blazes. Um, seeing that I do have uh, a bit of fire protection should not be that difficult and I do have some TNT somewhere. So we can actually try this. Quite a bit of uh, work going on uh, until we can actually build up the farm. But I think I will manage. This 9 by 9 and 3 high cobble block represents all the spawning spaces of the spawner which is exactly in the middle there. So now we can go ahead and build something around uh, and then we need a system to uh, funnel all the blazes to one spot where we can kill them. Uh, but one thing after another. Over there is another spawner and I checked if we can have a spot where both are active but unfortunately it's just outside of reach to have both of them. So let's focus on this one here and I think we will do something with, uh, with sandstone. Now this should work, uh, in the end we will need one more glass block there, but then we will have lava on this end, lava on this end, 
and that should push everything on this slab where we can whack the blazes and then on here uh, we have one two three four five six seven that should bring because lava is here one block higher so it flows down on there so we count from this one two three four five six seven and in the nether lava flows seven blocks in the overworld it's only three so all we have to do now is break the the cobblestone here that will allow the uh, uh, blazes to spawn and then light the lava flow and add the sources here on either end and there we have it we have a working blaze farm it appears it's not quite yet optimal because sometimes the blaze rods end up in the lava, but maybe we can extend um, this this forward piece a bit uh, in here, so that the the lava naturally stops the flow, and then where we uh, actually uh, uh, kill the blazes, that's on a spot where we do not have any lava and thereby um, the blaze rods are not consumed by lava but as you can see it's working we get a few blaze rods and that's all we need however at this pace it will take a while until we have enough for a furnace array but that will do for today, hope you enjoyed it and join me next time for more Minecraft without mining. See ya!